Hello everyone. In this module, we can discuss the concept of matched filter receiver and the calculation of its property of error. In the last module, we have completed the property of error calculation as well as the output SLR expression for optimum filter. So using optimum filter, uh, we have evaluated the output SLR. And we already discussed that uh, the Schwartz inequality is valid only when uh, the first function is equal to k times that of the complement of, or you can say the complex conjugate of the second uh, function theta 2 of f. So we, in the last module, we assumed that theta 1 of f is h of f into root SNI of f, where h of f is a transfer function of the uh, filter, that is a low pass filter used at the receiver. And SNI of f represents the input noise PST. And x of minus f represents the uh, shift function of the uh, frequency of the particular uh, input signal x of t in frequency domain. And uh, so here theta 2 star of f represents x of minus f <coughs> by root SNI of f into e power minus j omega t. After this, we discussed in the last module. And uh, just by rearranging this expression, we obtained the transfer function of optimum filter as h of f is equal to k into x of minus f by sni of f into e power minus j omega t, where capital T represents the respective instant of time. For matched filter, the input noise is assumed to be white in nature. So the white noise, we already discussed that white noise has uniform PST, uh, that which because it is independent of frequency, sni of f is constant at some factor let it be equal to n naught by 2. So just by substituting SNI of f as n naught by 2, you can rewrite the expression as 2k by n naught, because here in the denominator you have n naught by 2. If you take this to the numerator, it will be 2k by n naught into x of minus f into e power minus j omega t. Uh, and let us apply the inverse Fourier transform to the transfer function of matched filter to obtain its impulse response. So impulse response can be obtained by taking the inverse Fourier transform to the transfer function. <coughs> so integral minus infinite to plus infinite h of f into e power j omega t into df, where omega is 2 by f. It can be expressed as 2k by n naught, because just to rewrite this h of f, whose uh, expression is 2k by n naught into x of minus f, into e power minus j, j 2 by f into capital T into, so this is our h of f 2k by n naught into x of minus f into e power minus j 2 by f into capital T uh, into 2 by f t, small t, df. Just to rearrange this expression so that you get, because the function is in terms of minus f, in the exponential, you represent it in the form of minus f. So e power j 2 pi minus f into at instant capital T minus small t, df. Because you are evaluating the inverse Fourier transform. So h of t is equal to 2k by n naught into the inverse Fourier transform of this function, that is integral minus infinite to plus infinite at the respective frequency minus f with the time instant of t minus capital T minus small t is x of capital T minus small t, where x represents the change in the input signal magnitudes. So x1 minus x2, where x1 represents the input signal magnitude at positive two level, and x2 represents the uh, input signal magnitude at negative level. So that's why we have written it as 2k by n0 into x1 of the instant is capital T minus small t. So x1 of capital T minus small t minus x2 of capital T minus small t. So we obtained the probability and in the last module we calculated the probability for optimum filter as P is equal to half ERFC of x01 of t minus x02 of t by 2 root 2 sigma, where this x01 of t minus x02 of t by sigma represents the output SNR. And the square of the output SNR is represented as rho max which is equal to x0 of t by sigma whole square. This is our output SNR. 
and here x0 of capital t represents the change in the output signal level magnitudes that is x0 1 of t minus x0 2 of t which can be expressed as integral minus infinite to plus infinite x of f whole square divided by sni of f into df but because for the matcher filter we assume that the input noise is white in nature we can replace sni of f as n0 by 2 let us replace sni of f as n0 by 2 thereby rho max can be expressed as integral minus infinite to plus infinite x of f whole square by n0 by 2 into df which can be written as 2 by n0 integral minus infinite to plus infinite x of f square df here x of f represents the input signal in frequency domain now here uh, this function that is integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod x of f square df can be express can also be expressed in time domain as integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod x of t whole square dt this is based on the parcival's theorem so parcival's theorem states that the square of integration of magnitude of a particular function in time domain and frequency domain are equal so that's why we can replace integral minus infinite to plus infinite x of f square df as integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod x of t square dt where x of t is a change in the input signal level magnitudes so that's why we have written x of t as x1 of t minus x2 of t so finally we obtained rho max as 2 by n0 integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod x1 of t minus x2 of t whole square dt where x1 of t is the uh, input signal magnitude at positive level and x2 of t represents the input signal level magnitude at negative level so let us split this uh, internal part that is x1 of t minus x2 of t whole square so you can express it as x1 square of t plus x2 square of t minus 2 x1 x2 dt uh, now let us assume so this is our uh, maximum square uh, maximum value of square of output snr rho max now let us uh, uh, let us take the energy due to x1 of t be even and let us take the energy of the signal due to x2 b e2 and energy formed due to the two signals x1 of t and x2 of t b even 2 where even 2 represents the autocorrelation function due to x1 of t and x2 of t so we can express even as now integral 0 to t x1 square of t dt similarly e2 can be written as integral 0 to t x2 square of t dt and even 2 can be written as integral 0 to t x1 of t into x2 of t dt so finally we can uh, let us substitute uh, all this energy is in square of output snr rho max and before proceeding that let us assume that the energy due to because x1 of t is a respective signal at positive magnitude and x2 of t represents the negative level magnitude so the energy is due to e1 and d2 for example let us assume both are same and it is equal to minus e1 2 which is equal to beta energy. So this is our assumption. So E1 is equal to E2 is equal to minus E12 is equal to Eb. So then let us rewrite the square of output SNR rho max. Then 2 by E0, E1 is equal to Eb. Similarly, E2 is also equal to Eb. And uh, minus 2 into x1 of t, x2 of t. So I can write this as uh, minus Eb. So you will get 2 by N0 into 4 Eb. So finally, you obtained the square of output SNR as 8 EB by N0. So this is square of output SNR. You, but our intention is to get the output SNR. So output SNR can be obtained by taking the root of square of output SNR. Uh, so just to take root of rho max, then you will get the output SNR. That is root 8 EB by, 8 EB by N0 is the output SNR. Just substitute this output SNR in the probability of error expression for optimum filter. So let us substitute the output SNR for matched filter in the expression of probability of error. Then uh, you will get it as PE as half ERHC of root ATP by R0 divided by 2 root 2 sigma. 
So here you can see that x dot one of t minus x two two of t by sigma. You are rewriting it as root eight e b by m naught by two root two. So here two root two and uh, root eight gets cancelled. So finally you will get probability of error for matched filter as uh, half e r f c of root e b by m naught, where e b is the bit energy which can be expressed as p s into t b or uh, Here we are. We have assumed T B is equal to some time instant capital T, and this is when E one is equal to that is uh, uh, a bit energy due to that is the energy due to x one and energy due to x two. We are we have assumed it as equal, and it is equal to minus of the auto correlation function due to x one of t and x two of t. So with this assumption. We obtained probability of error for matched filter as half E R F C of root E B by n naught. So in this module, we learned the probability of error calculation as well as output and output S N R and transfer function of matched filter receiver. In the next module, we can continue with the probability of error calculation for A S K system. Thank you for listening.